Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create normal stamps for Painter using Maya and Arnold. So as you can see here, I have a sci-fi crate that I made a high poly and low poly and baked out all the uh, high poly details in the normal map onto my low. And you can see the bake turned out pretty well. But now I want to be able to take some of the design that I created in my high poly and use them as normal stamps inside of Painter. So again, normally to do this, uh, all you have to do is make a new layer. And I already went in there and I named it normal stamps. And I already went in there using some of the pre-existing brushes that you find in Painter and kind of stamped it down. And uh, again, it's pretty easy to do that. You just make that layer, uh, come down to hard surfaces, and then uh, let's pick um, one of the stamps here. And let's find it in the brush. So right here, there's normal color. So I'm just going to take this container 5 and drag it over to normal. And then I'm going to come up to the material for that brush. I'm going to make sure I turn off color, metal, height, and rough. And you can see that comes in pretty nice. Uh, sometimes you might have to, uh, as a brush, and then sometimes with the alpha, you're going to have to come in here and maybe hit cancel on that. And that comes in pretty nice, just like that. And then let's change the size. So I'm trying to control the left mouse click and drag that up a little bit bigger. And then all I got to do is just stamp it down. And that works good, and that's how I did the rest of you know going through all of the pre-made normal stamps that Painter offers and kind of did the, the top and the bottom. But again, I want to be able to use, let's just cancel out that, be able to use my own custom stamp. So I want this rivet that I have here to be able to stamp that in other places. Like I want to put this maybe down underneath here or wherever I might want to and other design elements. So I'm going to show you how to do that inside of Maya and Arnold and bring that into Painter. So let's bring up Maya. Here it is. So here's my high poly and my low poly. And right over here, all right, now let's bring up Maya. And as you can see right here, here's my high poly and my low poly for that's inside of Painter. And right now my low poly is a little bit lower. I have to go over to the uh, smooth and increase the divisions. Let's go to about two. And now you can see this is what I use to bake out my normal or create my normals inside of Painter. So again, that was just using mesh smooth and then I don't delete the history so I can turn it up and down anytime I want. So it makes it really convenient to go back and forth so you get some speed inside of Maya, but then you get the quality that you need for Painter to make the normal maps. Now, what I want to do is being, I want to be able to extract the uh, high poly detail that I have in the model. So like maybe this knob here, and maybe this knob right here, and then maybe this little piece here, and then there's a couple pieces I can also do over here. So what I need to do is select the polygons of the shape on the geometry I want to be able to make my normal map from my model. So again, you can model this out. I've already modeled it and integrated it into the model, but I need to extract it back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my history inputs, and then I'm going to drop this down to its lowest amount. So I always want to work with the lowest of polys possible. And then I'm going to go to face mode, and then I'm just going to drag out some marquee selection, and then I'm going to just deselect. I know that wasn't the best selection. Let me do it again. Now yeah, that's much better. I'm just going to deselect some faces. Okay. 
There we go. So now I've gone in there and selected the faces that I want. And let's go to Mesh, actually Edit Mesh, and I'm going to say Duplicate. So I've just duplicated. And if I come over here to my Outliner, you can see that separated mesh. I'm going to come up to the top and go to Modify, Center Pivot, and go to the Move Tool, and then I can move this up. And for some reason, it you know kind of flipped out on the shader, so I'm going to reassign the shader back on, so that should be main panel shader. There we go. So now I'm just going to delete the history on that. I'm going to go back to Mesh Smooth and I'll put a subdivision of two. And now you can see I have a separate piece. Oop, it looks like I forgot one little poly in the corner right there. Let's delete that guy. There we go. But now, I've got a really high poly object that I can use to make my normal map. So this is what I've done over here to the side. I've gone through and I've extracted using that same process and extracted these pieces over here. So you can see I've gone through and I've added uh, a mesh smooth to everything. So everything looks perfect. It's high poly and I can get a nice normal map out of that. The other thing I did is I made a plane. I put it back behind it and I went somewhat pretty close to the geometry. And the other thing I did, again, is to also shoot all the polygon objects that I want to make a normal map from and shooting it down the Z axis. So you can see this little widget down here in the bottom corner. All the geometry that I want to make a normal map is pointing down the Z axis. That's really important. So now I'm just kind of framing up on it. And let's go in the render settings and, and set uh, our resolution up. So I'm going to come up to the top, go to render settings. I'm going to make sure I'm using Arnold. So click on that. Go to the common tab. Scroll down to image size, presets, and let's go down up for me. I'm going to do a 1K square uh, brush size or render. Again, you can go to 2K if you want a little something that's pretty high detailed and you, you want to grab that extra definition. You can go to 2K. I'm going to stick with 1K. So 1024 by 1024. The other thing I want to do is go to the Arnold renderers and I want to make sure my camera anti-aliasing is cranked up. I think by default it's like 2 or 3. I cranked it up to 4. For a little bit better quality. And that's all we have to do inside of our render settings. Close that out. And now if I come up to the viewport, I'm going to come up to the top and you can see there's all these different icons for grid, film gate, resolution gate, and I want resolution gate to be turned on. And there you go. So what this does, it gives us a little bit of a border to figure out, you know, where our render is going to be rendering at in our 3D scene. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of frame up on one of the pieces of geometry that I want to make a normal map out of. So I'm just going to come in here, make it really big, and kind of fit it inside there. Perfect. 